Christmas has come and gone. New Year's has come and gone. And we are looking forward to a new year. But as evidenced by my house, we are still in the midst of the season of Christmas. Now we have spent together in worship the entire month of December dwelling in the warm, fuzzy birth stories of Jesus as we find them in Matthew and Luke. Now next week we are going to finish the story with the Epiphany story when the Magi make it to baby Jesus. But this week, this week we sit with the poetry of John the first chapter of the Gospel of John. Now John does not bother with a story that involves shepherds or sheep or stargazers or Jesus' parents. There's none of that. Jesus doesn't bother, or John does not bother with angels appearing or angels singing. Now we likely all love the stories of Matthew and Luke that have all those pieces that we hold dear at Christmas. But sometimes in the midst of those stories, I find conversations with people lead us down the path of, but, but how did that happen? And could it really? That's sometimes the reaction that we have to the story. But John moves us right away from those stories. John moves us to the word becoming flesh. It moves us into the light dwelling in shadows. It moves us to God breaking into our world. Now the shadows of the world cannot hide the light, John tells us. And in the hymn that we just sang, and that we will sing a little bit more of in a minute, the light comes into a lowly cattle shed. The light finds a bed in a stall, hangs out with the poor and meek and lowly. The light shines not in a castle or in the wealthy, but in the ordinary, the poor. This, this is the Jesus whose birth we celebrate. We celebrate with lights shining in windows, with lights on trees, Hanging from garage doors, we celebrate with lights in luminaries. Just because the holiday itself has come and gone, the season is still with us. So keep those lights shining. Keep your candles burning in these long winter nights. Keep your Christmas lights outside going just a little bit longer to remind yourself and all who pass by that there is indeed light shining in our world. And when Epiphany comes and goes the exact 12th day of Christmas, Wednesday, January 6th, when that day comes and passes, the true light that shines on all people, Jesus, is still with us. It doesn't end. The light is not just a temporary light, a candle flickering, or a tree ablaze in Christmas lights. The light of Christ continues to shine. And that, that, my friends, is what Christmas is all about. The light of Christ reminds us of the hope and truth that God's love God's love is stronger than any shadow. God's love is stronger than any evil. God's love is stronger than any violence. God's love is stronger even than death. That, that is what Christmas is about. It's not just about a baby laying in a manger. It's about the light and the love that shines so bright. So as the Christmas lights eventually come on down and the light and love of God will continue, when the luminaries get tucked away, 
the light and love of God remains shining bright. Hold on to that light. Allow that light to shine. Thanks be to God. Amen.